guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the projects that I'm currently working on. So I just have a few projects. I finished up all my projects back in January and I've started a few new projects that I want to share with you guys and then one of them I was working on last summer and I kind of put it away and I, I need your guys' opinion on it, on if I should finish or if I should just rip it out and redesign it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this is something that I have been working on for a few weeks now and I just started the front piece of it. So I'm knitting a sweater vest and I just started it today actually the ribbing of the front panel. I already finished the back part so now I'm working on the front and the front is going to be a v-neck which is really cute and I think different from a lot of sweater vests that I was looking at. A lot of them are just crew neck and I kind of like the look of a v-neck sweater vest for some reason. So that's what I decided to make. I actually found a pattern for it and I'm just following the pattern. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do something that I don't have to design, I don't have to think about and it's just something I can enjoy. And the yarn I'm using is Lion Brand, I believe it's called Mandala Watercolors. And I have three skeins from, I guess, so back in December actually, um, my sister saw that Lion Brand was doing a Santa bag type special, I guess you could say. And basically they sent nine skeins that you had no idea what they were going to be. And they'll just send them to you and I forgot how cheap she got them actually pretty cheap so we decided okay why not what we did not realize was out of the nine skeins they only send you three different kinds of yarn they send you three skeins of each kind so you only get three kinds but three skeins of each kind so that was a little bit disappointing I kind of thought we were going to get nine random skeins and I was kind of excited even though I hate single skeins and I think you guys kind of know that I thought it was kind of going to be fun to be able to figure out what we could make but instead it was just and actually two of the bags ended up being identical so we ended up with six skeins of three different kinds so we ended up kind of dividing it up between the three of us and I think we all kind of ended up being pretty happy with what we got but I got three skeins of this mandal watercolor yarn and I'm not a huge fan of this type of purple but there's a lot of actually pink kind of a purpley purpley pink maybe there's a color by stylecraft special dk weight and it's called um mysteria and it reminds me of that color actually and then there's of course the dark purple there's not a lot of purple in it so i think i'm actually going to really like it but yeah so this is what i'm making i've never worked with this yarn before but i have to say i'm actually enjoying it it's a little bit of a different type of yarn and I do like how it's turning out, so I'm pretty excited because I've been wearing a sweater vest for a couple months now and I just haven't made one. And I think it's going to be kind of pretty because this is going to be a little springy looking, so I'll be able to wear it in the spring and not have to put it away for fall. So I am pretty excited about that, and like I said, I'm already starting the front panel, so I think I'll actually finish this pretty soon. So the one project that I did not finish up in January because I actually did not even work on it was a knit shrug and it's actually out of the lion, not the lion burn, it was out of the loops and threads speckled yarn I believe is what it was called. I did a yarn review on it months back but I'm actually working on the final front panel. I finished up the back in one of the front panels and so now I'm working on the second front panel. I just started a couple nights ago and I haven't really worked on it a ton, but I'm really excited because I'm almost finished with it and I'll be able to actually be done with it and be able to wear it. So I'm super excited. So I should be finishing this up within the next couple of weeks and then I think I'm probably gonna put the pattern out for it unless it doesn't turn out like I think it's going to, but I think it's gonna be really cute and perfect for spring. I just wanted a really cute shrug that I'd be able to wear over a tank top and jeans and maybe add some boots to it and it'd be really cute. So hopefully this is going to look cute. I like the coloring because it's a cream, a yellow, and kind of a dark blue. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And this is actually what it looks like actually knitted not like a little sample like that but this is what the actual coloring looks like so I'm super excited about it and I'm thinking I'm be able to finish up in the next couple of weeks and this is just me kind of playing around with a different stitch I'm not okay so my battery died so I'm really sorry if I'm kind of slightly in a different place I had to change the battery in my camera because it died and I was not expecting that I thought I charged them but apparently I didn't 
but as I was saying with this shrug, I'm just kind of playing around with it. I'm just hoping the measurements are going to be right. I have a feeling it might be a little too big, so I'm hoping it might not be the case, but I just have a slight feeling it might be a little too big for me. Okay, so this is going to be a really fun crochet project that I've been working on. I decided that I wanted to make a tank top that was basically worked in one piece, but um, so the front and the back is all worked in one piece and then you make the straps for it and then you're done and you work on it actually lengthways, not widthways. So this is what it looks like. So here's the front and then the straps are going to go right here. So it's going to end up looking like this and it's going to be slightly cropped but i just thought it'd be really cute with some really cute straps i want to make the straps big enough where i'll cover my bra straps so then i don't have to wear a strapless bra with it because i hate wearing strapless bras but i'm thinking that i'll be able to make it thick enough to cover bra straps or if somebody wants to wear like a cami underneath that'll be thick enough to cover them and you don't have to but i want to try and make them still look really cute and delicate and not very big and bulky because i feel like this type of shirt kind of needs a little bit thinner strap, thinner straps just the way it's constructed but I'm actually using an I love this yarn um skein and I feel like I've seen this coloring everywhere I'm not really sure what the name of it is but I've seen so many people make hats out of this yarn and I always recognize it because I'm like I know that's I love this yarn but I had two skeins of it so I'm on my second skein now and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to make something a little bit different and if I like the shaping of it I'm gonna try to make it in a thinner yarn and see if I can still mimic the same shaping so then there'll be options to make it in a worsted weight or in probably I'm thinking a DK weight but I really do like how it's turning out I think it's really cute and I actually really like the coloring of it I think it turned out exactly how I want so hopefully the straps are going to turn out how I want but this has been a really fun project for me to work on and it's been really easy I thought the shaping was going to be more difficult than what it was but it actually was easy and I just like kept holding it up to me to make sure it was what I was wanting and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it hopefully I'll be impressed with it once I'm done with it Okay, so the last like active active project that I'm really working on is this one and this one I kind of set aside because I just don't know. I'm thinking about almost ripping it out. So I had an idea of making a crochet tank top that was but was a button up basically a sleeveless tank top that was buttoned up and had a collar on it. I just thought it would be really pretty especially because for the main body part I wanted to make it in this kind of pretty shell stitch pattern which I just thought would be really really pretty and delicate and kind of almost gives a lacy effect without it being lacy. So I've been working on this. I've been using one of the cotton I don't know what, what you would call this. It's not a skein, but there's a lot of yardage on this. I still don't think I'm going to have enough. I actually had to rip it out, so I have a ton of it right here. And I'm trying to add a little bit of shaping around the waist so it's not so boxy looking. Um, I think I, I'm getting the gist of it, but I'm still kind of like, uh, I don't know if it's going to turn out okay or not. So I kind of set it aside for the time being, but I might actually pick it back up again in try again because I do want it to work because I think it would be really pretty. The only thing is if I run out of yarn I'd have to go buy a different skein and obviously I bought this a long time ago. We're talking like years ago so obviously I'm not going to be able to find the same dye lot but I'm thinking it wouldn't really matter and I'm also thinking about making the actual button up portion for like the buttonholes and the buttons. I'm thinking about making that in a solid white and also making the collar in a solid white color just to add a little bit of contrast to it but I still am not 100% sure on the collar if I want to change it to a, a solid white or keep it the kind of I don't really call this variegated. I kind of largely speckled ish because it's not 100 speckled but it's not variegated either in my mind it's kind of has a little bit of a splash of color throughout throughout it so i'm 
still kind of trying to figure this design out so this one probably is going to take me a lot longer to make because there's a lot of thinking and measuring involved in this because I don't want to make it super boxy I want to add a little bit of shaping to it because that's how most shirts are especially when they're collared like that they're more tailored in a way so that's why I'm trying to figure out how I can make it look fitted without taking away from I'm trying to make it tailored and still fitted without making it too difficult to do. So we're working with it. We're going to see if we can make it or not. And then another project I'm actually going to be starting really soon, so I just thought I would just share with you guys, is I'm going to be using some of this Yarn Bee Wrapology Hues, which I have actually done a, a yarn review on a almost a year ago, I think now. And this is in the shade Jeweled Dragonfly, and I actually don't think Hobby Lobby even sells this yarn anymore, but it's a size 2. And I'm thinking about making a 4th of July shirt out of this because it's a really pretty kind of bluish color, and there's white throughout it, and there's also kind of a magenta pink, but it kind of looks reddish. So it kind of reminds me of 4th of July, almost like fireworks in a way. I just love the coloring of this and I'm thinking about making a kind of cropped tank top that has a tie on it um, just for 4th of July. I thought I might as well start it now and then I could get the pattern out for you guys and you guys could either make it for 4th of July or you could just make it for summer. My 4th of July shirt last year I re released it like the week before 4th of July and I felt so bad about that so I'm, I guess I'm going really really early this year so I'm hoping to start this super soon so then I can get it out to you guys. So the question I have for you guys, so there is a shirt that I started last year. Oh, I actually finished it. Oh, that changes things. Actually, I finished it and I did not realize I did. So actually, so it's this chunky tank top that I made and there's going to be little straps that go, but it's going to be like this. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to finish making this because I wasn't sure. I held two strands of yarn together and it's obviously a pink and cream. I liked how it looked, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to love it or not. But I did not realize I already finished it, so I might put it together and then just see what it looks like whenever I'm done with it and then make my decision because I could always make another one in a solid color. Here you guys get a little bit of a sneak peek of a project I'm going to be finishing very soon that I did not even realize that I had actually finished. So here's a little sneak peek for you guys. But yeah, okay. I guess I'll be finishing that very, very soon. But anyway, guys, so that is everything that I have been working on and I'm going to continue to work on. So definitely a lot of fun, exciting projects I cannot wait to share with you guys. I've been really getting back into my creative place of mind, I guess you could say, my creative state of mind. And I've been just loving being able to make stuff and just feel like I am making things that I really, really love and I want to share with you guys again. So... And I love making things for spring and summer. I seriously think like this is my time to shine. I just love making things for spring and summer. So I think that's why I just always seem to make a ton of stuff and put out a ton of designs and then come fall and winter I'm a little bit more quiet. But I'm super excited. So let me know down in the comments below what projects you guys have been working on. I would love to read them and definitely hear what you guys are working on because I always think it's cool to see like the different things people like to make. I always find it really interesting and it's it's almost kind of like you can support each other because like I am really really bad at making blankets and like home items so I love reading when people are working on them because I'm like man you're doing something that I'm really not good at but yeah so definitely let me know down in the comments below anyway guys I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video